The Hart Bridge connects Jacksonville to thousands of drivers that use it daily. Right now, crews are performing a routine inspection. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lashaway had a chance to talk with engineers from FDOT about what's happening. The Hart Bridge, sometimes called the Green Monster. It was built in 1967. At the time, it cost more than $8.8 .8 million to build. In the late 1990s, it was one of the longest cantilever bridges in the world. Today, engineers with Florida Department of Transportation are examining the bridge. Getting the heartbeat of the heart bridge takes time. This inspection, physical if you will, can take up to four weeks. We've got a really robust bridge inspection program. We do inspect this structure every two years. Um, and, you know, it's an iconic piece of infrastructure for our city. From top to bottom. We've got folks with cameras, uh, measuring tape, that they are literally taking within two feet of a crack, any deficiency they see, they are taking it, jotting it down. We're gonna track it over the long term um, and really just make sure that we you know, protect this structure. And if anything was found, we, we make repairs, whether it's you know, minor to hopefully you know, not severe, but if something severe is found, we would shut it down, make that repair and would not open it back up till it was safe. Ross Hammock is an engineer with FDOT. What are common issues with trust bridges over time? Well, the biggest thing that pops in my mind is it's steel. And so we got to protect the steel, uh, keep it painted so that it doesn't rust. The focus today is on the bridge's deck. In a few weeks, inspectors will examine the cables to the bridge. Rest assured that, that it's safe to travel on. The River City is home to seven bridges. Dames Point. Matthews, Hard, Maine, Acosta. Come on, say them with me. Fuller Warren and the Buckman. The Fuller Warren Bridge is uh, our most popular uh, bridge here. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're expanding that right now. Next place would probably be the Dames Point Bridge. In some ways, Jacksonville serves as the welcome committee for Florida. Part of this, the city's bridges. Rest assured that this is what we do. We do it every two years as a routine inspection to make sure that the bridge stays safe and people can travel over it safely. In Jacksonville, Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station. FDOT says this inspection is routine and has nothing to do with the recent incident on the Buckman Bridge. Again, the inspection will take weeks to complete.